Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is December 13th and right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across the region. You can't miss the Thule fog there. Something else, you can also see that marine layer pushed up towards Los Angeles and some of the coastal areas. Not too bad for the Bay Area right now. Some interior valley is still a bit foggy, but the Thule fog will be with us for a few more days. But we do have some signs of some change on the horizon. We'll take a look at the latest on that here as we go through the video this morning. Look at the rest of the country here, much below normal, big slice right down the middle of the country, west well above normal. But look at this, look at the inversion that is where the Thule fog is in the San Joaquin, Sacramento Valley areas. My goodness, look at the difference between the surrounding terrain well above normal. So far for the month of December, the valley area is much below normal. If you live out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station to record the temperature at your house, it stores all the data for you in the cloud. Imagine getting this on Christmas morning, opening it up, having it up and running within a few minutes, and then playing with it on your smartphone. Uh, very fun stuff. Click on the link down below to get one of those. Now, chance of max temperatures here. This is for some of the foothill areas on the Hanford National Weather Service. And look at some of these warm temperatures. As we go towards next week, though, you notice something starting to change here as we get some systems trying to roll back into the area. But until then, we're going to be dealing with the warm temperatures across some of the foothill areas and the inversion into the valley areas. Now, Eureka, California is talking about the wet and unsettled weather here as we go on in through early next week. Some big rainfall amounts likely to be incoming here. And again, I'll show you the long range here in a moment. It's a little bit out there, but the, the, the overall model trend here is good. And the ensemble members are in some good agreement. We're going to get some active weather across much of the state. More on that here in a moment. But of course, National Weather Service, Las Vegas, sometimes their life is quite easy. Today's forecast, just a big old sunshine there above normal temperatures, light winds. Now, looking at visibility in miles, you can see we're going to be dealing with this fog here as we go through this morning. It tries to burn off a little bit, but again, that version is very strong. We go through Sunday morning, it returns. There's Monday morning yet again. Here we go on in towards Tuesday morning, maybe one more time there. And then we finally start to shift things up as we go through the midweek time period. You can kind of see some clouds moving across the region there. So yeah, hopefully we can stir things up by next Wednesday. And if we look at the apparent temperature, look as we go through the daytime hours. This is about noon here uh, today. And you can see the very warm conditions across foothills and desert areas and interior valleys and whatnot in Southern California. Some nice mid 70s out there. Coastal areas nice and warm, but the inversion just continues to keep things very cool across the interior valleys. Now, looking at 500 millibars here, uh, or about 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere, we're looking at the, the storm train just really ripping into the Pacific Northwest, but it starts to buckle and get a bit further south into portions of Northern California here as we go on in towards next week. And then you can clearly see we squash this ridge down here, this subtropical ridge, and we really get this trough very close to the West Coast of North America. This would lead to a very active period here for much of the state of California. The only thing is, is that it's, you know, you, you got to go out far into the forecast, but the Ensemble agreement is really good on this big pattern change coming as we go on in towards the Christmas time period and even a bit before that. Now, if we look at the next six days, though, you can see the activity into the Pacific Northwest. We start to get clipped here by systems as we go on into when is the first rain return? Well, it looks about probably some point on the day on Monday and kind of a weak system there. But then we get a more impactful system as we go through Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. You can see the rainfall continuing across portions, Bay Area North generally here. And then we squaw off a little bit further and then you can see it starts to get ramped up here again but still this is six days out so i don't want people to get too crazy about it just yet but the pattern change signal is good in the extended run and if we take a look here precipitable water on the european ensemble main again storm track into the pacific northwest takes aim at some of northern california perhaps bay area north as we go through next week and then you can see things get nicer as we get the troughing out over the pacific ocean and look at this plume of moisture showing up in the ensemble mean as we go through what is that you know december 19th 20th 21st 22nd 23rd not been through christmas even maybe christmas here some active weather now looking at total precipitation in inches european ensemble uh, artificial intelligence ensemble mean on the left versus the gfs on the right let's see what kind of model agreement we have as we scroll through the 10-day period 240 hours out you see some of that finally creeping towards southern california and as we go out through the 15-day period, again, pretty active pattern here coming, hopefully, for much of the state of California. Big amounts, if these were to verify here, for some of the northern Sierra Nevada, Cascades, Klamath Range, coastal areas as well. 
Now, California, as I mentioned yesterday, is completely drought free, just a little bit of abnormally dry out there. Definitely something worth giving thanks for. I mean, who would have thought you'd see this, right? So yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. Drought is a natural process of the environment and it's not going to last. Six to 10 day precipitation outlook above normal for much of the West Coast. And then you can see six to 10 day temperature outlook. Look at the lower 48, my goodness. What did we do here? That's getting towards Christmas there as well. Eight to 14 day though. Also, you can see including Southern California as we go through the Christmas time period and those above normal conditions kind of continue to get California there as well. Now, this is our CADA. This is the ensemble, the total QPF plume, the total precipitation here. The mean is up over 10 inches for our CADA there in the Northwest portion of California. The blue line is the control run. So pretty good ensemble agreement on the storm train returning to portions of California. Sacramento, International Airport. There's some big amounts as well. So yeah, we'll have to watch this as we go through Christmas and thereafter towards the end of the month of December. San Francisco, also some uh, nice precipitation signals showing up here through the extended forecast. And even Los Angeles, once you get towards the 23rd, 24th, 25th, starts to show some rain vault returning. Now look at Lake Tahoe. We could be getting some good mountain snows across the higher terrain as well. I just kind of cherry picked this one. Don't get too caught up in these totals right now. This is a 10 to 1 ratio map probably not going to be completely accurate, but you can see a pretty good signal for some snowfall returning to portions of the Sierra Nevada. And the experimental product is on board as well, all the way down through San Diego to North California and up into the Pacific Northwest. It's going to have a precipitation, that, you know, what is this, December 20th, 22nd through the 26th, and the risk of heavy snow starts to return also, and the risk of high winds will be out there as well. Now, check out the Patreon page if you like. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. Uh, and, um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next forecast.